you're going to practice recording a donation. The exercise we're going to follow along with is over here on the right hand side and this is pulled from our advanced level pro advisor certification course. If you would like more information about that course after we go through the exercise be sure to click on the link below in the description. But let's dive right in and see what our scenario is today. Craig has decided to donate a rock fountain to Duke's basketball camp. So how would you record this? You will need to be in the sample company to do this exercise. If you're not sure how to get into the sample company or get your own free QBOA account, be sure to click on the link below in the description. I have the sample company pulled up here on the left hand side. This is the dashboard and this is where we are going to work through the exercise. So let's go ahead and get started. We will start by creating a $0 sales receipt. So to do that, we need to click on the plus new button and then select sales receipt. That is up here on the top left corner. Click on that plus new button and then under customers, select sales receipt. Now, when it comes up for us, we are going to fill it out. In the customer field, we're going to select Duke's basketball camp. So click into that, uh, click that down arrow. You will see Duke's basketball camp not too far down on that list. Go ahead and select them once you have found them and their information will appear for you. In the product service field, we want to select rock fountain. So in that product service field on the first line, go ahead and click into it. You can click the down arrow um, and scroll just a little bit, or you can type rock fountain in the box. Either way, once you find it, go ahead and select it. Now we are giving this away, so the amount is $0. It's not this $250. We need to adjust this. So go ahead and click into that rate field, delete what is there, and type a zero. When you hit the tab key over, you will see that QBO has updated the amount to be zero. Now, before you move on, you want to, uh, before we move on, we want to see what the transaction journal will look like. So don't save and close just yet. We're just gonna click on the black save button. That's down here towards the bottom right corner of the sample company. Go ahead and select that. When you do, you will see that the sales receipt has been saved and now we can pull up the transaction journal. So to do that, we wanna click on more and then select transaction journal. More is down here on the bottom black bar. Go ahead and select more and then select transaction journal. Now you may get a pop-up when this appears, and if you do, you wanna click out of it, uh, like this one right here. Uh, this is just an information from QBO talking about how they're changing over the reports from classic view to modern view. It doesn't affect this uh, particular exercise, but just some information from QBO. So you can go ahead and just click on the X if you happen to get that pop-up. Now you'll note that the amount debited um, is the cost of goods account, or debited the cost of, excuse me, note that the amount debited the cost of goods sold account is $125, which is right here, cost of goods, $125. And this is the amount you will need to credit in your journal entry. So now we'll create that journal entry that moves the money from COGS or cost of goods sold to the donation account. So to do that, we need to click on the accountant tools and then select journal entries. Accountant tools is right here at the top. Go ahead and select that. And then under quick links, you are going to check um, uh, journal entries. In the account field on line one, we're going to select cost of goods sold since that's what it's coming from. So click into that. You can um, either start typing um, or you hit that down arrow. It's just a few down. So once you find it, go ahead and select it. In the credits field, uh, we want to type 125. Remember in that report, it was debiting 125. We want to credit 125 now. So go ahead in that credit field, type 125. And in the description field, let's go ahead and say what this is for. We're going to type charitable donation. So click into that description field, type in charitable donation. And then in the name field, we want to select Duke's Basketball Camp. So click on that down arrow, and they are just a few down, so go ahead and click on their name. And now that line has been complete. So now that we have taken care of where the money is coming from, the COGS account, it's time to record where the money is actually going. 
So that is going to be a charitable con contributions account. And since that one doesn't exist yet, we're going to create it right now. So in the account field on the second line, we're going to select plus add new. So click into that um, uh, box two times, click on plus add new. You will get this um, uh, screen show up for you. The account type is in expense. So click into this account type right here and look for expenses. That is the one It's pretty close to the bottom of that list. Go ahead and select it once you find it. In the detail type field, we're going to select charitable contributions. So click on that down arrow and charitable contributions is just a couple down. So go ahead and select that. The name has already been filled in by QBO based on what we had selected in this detail type. So we are all good here. All we need to do now is just click on save and close. Go ahead and click on it and that has now been created. And you'll notice that as soon as we have that created, the debit amount right here and the description are already copied from the previous line. Um, in journal entries, the debits have to equal the credits. So um, now that this has been uh, copied over for us, all we need to do is fill in the customer name. So click that down arrow in the name field and once again, select Duke's Basketball Camp. And there you go, we've all finished this uh, journal entry to show that the donation has been made. So now we just need to click on save and close. Click the down arrow right here and select save and close. And there you go, that journal entry has been saved. And that is it, that is how you would record a donation. Now, if you like this exercise and you wanna do more like it, or if you would like more information about that advanced level Pro Advisor certification course, be sure to click on the link below in the description. And I will see you in the next exercise.